Hi, Ian Roberts and Mastering Composition. So thank you for the comments I get each week. And a number of people said, couldn't you put the two images from the last two weeks so we could compare them side by side? And I thought that was a good idea. And so here they are. And what's interesting about this is some people said they liked the first one, some people liked the second one. And what we're getting down to, of course, is taste. What do we like? It's not that one's better than the other. Uh, you know, it's better or worse. It's just we would have a preference one way or the other. What's interesting or important about that, perhaps, is that that might indicate to us a direction of interest in terms of where we want to go with our own work. Because that's I'm sort of doing this whole thing, the laboratory of the painting process is what I originally called it, as like the, the explorations, this alchemy of taking brushes and paint and sort of bringing it into some form that we're happy with. And so I'm sharing this process because obviously we have, as I've mentioned, everything's abstraction and it goes from representation to non-representation. And I feel comfortable in a certain arena. I'm sort of interested in pushing towards like more non-representational, but I can only go so far until I just sort of feel lost and confused. Each one of us has some place on that scale, we could say. And we've also got, you know, in terms of color, do we want more intense color or more tonal? Do we want more vibrant brushwork? Or we don't really see the brushwork as more simple or more complex? All these things that we're, this is the alchemy of what we're trying to figure out in terms of our own personal journey as painters. But two things. One is that I think in that image from the last two weeks, the structure you can see allows us, it's strong enough that allows us to kind of push this arena of simplification because that structure carries it. And this week, what I want to do is I'm going to show you an image in a moment and just how simplifying it down just to some few marks for trees, for buildings, actually still gives the representation. So here's the image for this week. There's a strong compositional structure, which I'm going to use as the foundation for laying all these shapes on. But look at the complexity of all these buildings here, right? And you're thinking, oh my God, Ian, that is so complicated. Perspective is so hard. So I'll show you how I deal with that. You'll notice that the underpainting there, if you see it, is actually the image we worked on the last two weeks. I just was started a third one and I thought, you know what? I've taken this as far as I've gone. Here you just see the cloud that I'm creating. Uh, it doesn't actually exist. It's just a big square shape. So I'm just sort of, you'll see that all the work is just pretty, just shape by shape, almost squares, you know? I mean, that's a tree that I just went in. There's a tree that goes in. Um, and you see that I'm pretty careful about each mark, right? I'm not just slopping it around. I'm pretty careful about where it goes. I'm looking at the photograph, trying to translate this into some simple shapes that'll do the job at hand. It's not sort of fast and reckless. It's just the minimum amount of information to get the idea across. Here you can just see, you know, putting in some of the darks there. Um, you know, it's, is it a shape? Is it, is it a shadow? Is it just shapes that are playing the role of the illusion? And you'll see it, you know, it'll start to come together. It looks better as it goes along. Um, but all the fields, I mean, most of the fields in the foreground, but you said find the color, put in the shape, right? Find the color, put in the shape. And uh, what I'm going to do, you'll see as we go along, is I'm going to be putting another layer on this. But there, I'm just sort of painting in around those things. Big, simple shape again. And... Uh, but you can see it's very careful. I'm really trying to uh, get that shape established, lay it in, and leave it. Establish it, lay it in, and leave it. There, I'm just sort of cutting back in to sort of get more form into that stuff. And then here I'm putting all, this is where I'm finishing the buildings. I'm just putting the lit side of the buildings. And you see, it's just a few simple shapes uh, that are catching the front side of that, and you say, oh, I see, those are the buildings. I'm not thinking about all that 
complex architecture and there's the finished painting or more there's the finished block in of the painting now i'm going to go and start what's the word enhancing or enriching each color like there's sort of an alizarin on top of the gray just scrubbing it the paint's dry there's a slightly more rich color up at the front edge of it here i'm sort of getting another layer of paint in here a little lighter the whole thing is getting a little lighter too uh, there, I'm actually, in this case, dulling it down a little bit with sort of an ochre on top of it. Uh, there, I'm sort of getting those light grasses in. I'm, I'm exaggerating now the color of the steeple because I'm thinking that's where I want you to go. But as it turns out, I cut the steeple off altogether. But those reds are now really pulling us in there. And there's the finished painting. You can see I took the steeple off because it was just jamming so much attention into the top of the, top of the painting that I had to get rid of it. But there's the idea of why I'm calling it pushing it deeper into abstraction, that the, the trees, the buildings, you can't see trees and buildings. You can just see little marks, but they represent it. And so it's an interesting exercise to take an image you like and just see how far you can push it in terms of shape making like this and moving away from detail and even moving away from the idea of trees and buildings, just shapes. So I hope you found that helpful. Please do like and comment. Uh, I do try to get to the comments for each video each week. And please do subscribe, sign up on my email list to receive this every Wednesday. Have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.